What's that? You want three indie games recommended to you very quickly. All right. Baba is You is a game where Baba is you. Also, wool is stop, rock is push, and flag is win. Brilliantly, these rules are part of the sliding block puzzle gameplay, so if you move this, the rules become as useless as a carvalet in the year four. If you push push here, uh, now you can move the walls. Flag here unsurprisingly turns all the walls into flags, and wall is you gives your character the emotional range of prequel Anakin Skywalker. Later levels add saucy words like melt and goop. Uh, they introduce things that'll kill you, and, until you make them not anymore, and good old fashioned lava makes an appearance, still as typecast as ever. It's the sort of puzzle game that requires you to not just think outside the box, but to leave the box entirely and turn it into a small sheep called Nora. Baba Is You is releasing later this year on PC, but if you can't wait until then, there's a smaller pay what you want version over on itch.io, so you can scratch that puzzle game itch. <coughs> .io. <laughs> Kingdom Two Crowns, available on PC, Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and the NEC Super Graphics, is a 2D side-scrolling. Oh, hang on a second. Dude. Strategy game. Huh. You play as a king, well, as horse and wallet, as you parade around medieval flatland, flinging coins at peasants and making them do things he's too posh to do, namely building, fighting, and farming. It's a bit like somebody took Age of Empires and boiled it down so far that even one of its dimensions evaporated. Forget wood, stone, gold, and sheep, all you have to worry about is coin, which, thinking about it, is, is gold. Whatever gold is. As you explore the game world, you'll find buildings that unlock abilities, camps full of employable peasants, and new horses, most of which aren't even horses. After a bit, you can repair a boat and sail to a new land where you'll instantly get murdered by the hideous things that come at night. It's simple, can get a little slow at times, but it's as engaging as Picard doing their little hand gesture. Oh, and it's got full co-op, which is always nice to see. <laughs> Lastly, we have Conduct Together. Now, do not be taken in by the adorable little trains, dear view count increaser. This Switch game is secretly Puppy, curb stomping, evil. Oh, it starts out nice enough. A few cute low poly trains whizzing around a railroad, picking people up and dropping them off two feet away for some reason. While you swap the tracks there on occasionally remind them to break for traffic. But then, once it gets its hooks into you, you realize it's fucking rush hour and your fucking job is to stop all these fucking trains from plowing into each other like college students in those videos that I watched where the previously idyllic fucking town turned into railways designed by fucking Satan on a fucking spirograph and everyone fucking dies over and over and over and fucking again and you can't fucking save them because you're too busy trying to remember which fucking part of the fucking switch is the fucking x one because that's about as consistent in modern gaming as Goku's fucking hair! Oh, that's fucking go up too, because we're designed to conduct together not only fucking hates you, they fucking hate your friends! <sighs> so, yeah, that's three games I totally recommend. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go and lie down in front of a train.